as is we are discussing s4 hana 2022 2022 or 2023 both are same there is no any changes and uh, maybe after completion of gl or after completion of f5 even we are going to discuss uh, changes also what is the changes between uh, ecc to s4 hana see that the thing is uh, just just imagine everyone example iphone 12 and iphone 13 just imagine everyone concentrate here iphone 12 and iphone 13 whatever features in iphone 12 same features in iphone 13 also but some features is add on okay some features is add on what is that features what features not there in ecc even that changes also we will going to discuss okay don't worry about that okay just simply you can follow my class everyone don't think here and there here and there simply you can follow my class and practice uh be patient everyone at least you can spend minimum four months everyone at least you can spend minimum four months everyone okay you can listen the class practice spend four months time okay uh like practice read interview question and answers and all i will share you after some time you do means uh everyone you already uh struggle lot of things everyone you completed your graduation post graduation you did some domain experience lot of struggles already did okay so something add on here so these four months four to maximum four to five months not required that more than that not required do hard work everyone once if you get sap job now your life became after sap and before sap okay kindly do the practice don't lose your practice and uh, watch multiple times recording sessions every day i mean whenever you possible take the print out of practice material and watch recording sessions again and again okay and uh, please everyone uh, do hard work in four to five months enjoy rest of the life even you can neglect these four to five months then as your wish don't want to tell okay please everyone say yes no will you practice yes no okay yes sir yes 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 everyone yeah so now everyone concentrate here the target is classify GL account for document splitting is completed. Classify GL account for document splitting. Now classify document type for the document splitting. Classify document type. Document type for the document splitting. So what is meant by document type? Why document type? What is the purpose of document type? Everyone, maybe after two classes. After two classes, it will come document type and number ranges. After two classes, it will come document type and number ranges. That time we will discuss more about what is meant by document type, why document type, what is the purpose of document type. More discussions we will uh, discuss everyone. Meanwhile, here in the second step is the standard step. In the second step, you are not required to change anything keep it as it is what is meant by document type why document type what is the purpose of document type maybe after two classes two or three classes will come okay after two or three classes will come not required now meanwhile here this is the standard step you are not required to change anything you are not required to change anything everyone so let's open sap oh. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone, concentrate here. Go to SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG. Anyone try the path for document splitting? Anyone, please? Anyone? Let's try. If it is wrong also, no problem. 
financial accounting financial accounting general ledger general ledger accounting master done business transaction documents fitting fitting yeah so here everyone we completed classify gl account for document splitting this one now this one classify document type for the document splitting document type so this is the standard step everyone you are not required to change anything keep it as it is okay just go and analyze what is this just double click on this so let's observe here let's observe here example you know uh, dr customer invoice then uh, kr kr vendor invoice kz vendor payment and here dz customer payment and you can observe here okay and example uh, sa gl posting then ab ab reversal document posting just observe this this all are standard you are not required to change anything in this screen okay this all are standard everyone this all are standard so you are not required to change anything here okay keep it as this for more understanding what is meant by document type why document type what is the purpose of document type it will come later everyone not required now <clears throat> then one more one more zero balance define zero balance clearing account define zero balance clearing account note it on one note everyone note it on one note you already noted for my satisfaction note it on one more note Zero balance clearing account. Note it down. During the document entry posting, during the document entry posting, when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter, When the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter, that time zero balance clearing account involved automatically. Zero balance clearing account involved automatically. For this purpose, next line note it down. For this purpose, what is the purpose is? I mean, for this purpose, note it down. For this purpose, we want to create the zero balance clearing account. We want to create zero balance clearing account on T code FS00. On the T code FS00. Under current liability, zero balance clearing account under current liability. And we want to map zero balance clearing account 
on document splitting configuration in the bracket define zero balance clearing account. Uh, sir, and we want to map zero balance clearing, then sir, what do you do? Account. In the bracket, define zero balance clearing account. So everyone, what is our target here? Note it down. Completed? Noted everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So very, very simple, everyone. What is the purpose here? The purpose is... When the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter, that time zero balance clearing account involved automatically. This is the purpose. For this purpose, what you want to do in the configuration? First, you have to create the GL. First, you have to create the GL. And where we can create that GL? On T code FS00 under current liability. Then whatever GL you are created, that GL you can map where you want to map on the document splitting configuration. In the bracket, define zero balance clearing account. Here we want to assign. So let us create example under current liability. For the current liability number range, what we created everyone? Current liability number range is, uh, let it be here, here everyone. Current liability number range is this one, one six double zero double zero two one six double nine double nine. So now I want to create first zero balance clearing account. So how I am creating zero balance clearing account? How I am going to map the zero balance clearing account? This is the target, everyone. How we are going to map the zero balance clearing account? Let us go to SAP. Everyone, please confirm. Are able to see my screen? SAP screen. Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's concentrate here, everyone. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Go to FS00, enter. Then give it here the GL number 160000, company code RM11. Then click on here, create here, here, here. Click on here, create. Click on here, create. So here you can write the description. What is the description? Zero balance clearing account. And here also description, short description and long description. And here current liability. Current liability comes under balance sheet. Everyone concentrate here, listen carefully. From where this number is coming, from where this number is coming, this number is coming from the GL accounts group. So we created now GL accounts group here. Current liability comes under 16000216999. From this number range, we can pick the number. From this number range, we can pick the number. And this is the company code. So what is the description? Description is zero balance clearing account. So zero balance clearing account comes under current liability. Current liability comes under balance sheet. This balance sheet belongs to this company code and this is the GL number. No problem everyone. For more details, for more details during the GL's creation, that time I will explain everyone. Okay. Not required now. For more details, I can explain later. Okay. And go to control tab. Go to control tab. And uh, here you can uh, give it your short key 001 and go to create bank interest tab. Here you can take G001 and post automatically. Press enter and save. I'm repeating once again, everyone. What is mean by field status variant? What is mean by short key? What is mean by this other fields? It will come later, everyone. Not required now. Simply you can follow this. I'm repeating once again. Zero balance clearing account comes under current liability. Current liability comes under balance sheet. This balance sheet belongs to this company code. This is the number coming from the accounts group. 
and here control data simply here you can give short key 001 go to create bank interest app g001 post automatically press enter and save click on here save okay click on here it will be don't forget to click on post automatically so like this you have to create the gls like this you have to create the gls then later what we need to do later what we need to do then later we want to assign this gl guys i know you have some doubts sir uh, what is this fields what is the definitions of these fields why these fields you know a lot of questions is here so maybe when it will come uh, maybe here here gl master data creation this time i will explain more everyone each field wise we will discuss but not required now okay and here our target is how to assign the gl or how to map the gl so if you create and if you map if you create and map what happened how the system will behave if you map the gl whatever gl you are mapping here that gl will going to reflect it when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter that mm -hmm. time the gl will going to reflect it okay so how to assign this gl how to assign this gl so very simple everyone go to again go to the path spro enter sap reference img select your uh, financial accounting and the general ledger accounting business transaction document splitting here everyone here define zero balance clearing account this is the one define zero balance clearing account so you just uh, double click on this execute button here here everyone double click on this execute button and the standard stand select here standard zero balance clearing account here this is the standard and double click on accounts give it here your chart of accounts rm oc press enter here you want to assign i'm repeating once again i'm repeating once again everyone concentrate here concentrate here how to map the gl account whatever gl you created now that gl how you want to map if you map what happened during the document entry posting when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter that time this gl will reflect it automatically if it is want to reflect automatically means you want to assign or you want to map if you map then only it will reflect it automatically if you are not map it won't reflect it automatically okay so how to map the gl whatever gl you created so how to map the gl double click on this execute button and uh, click on here triple uh, zero is a standard standard zero balance account okay standard zero balance clearing account select this select this double click on accounts give it here your chart of accounts what is your chart of accounts rmoc in case if you are not remember this chart of accounts what can i do click on your browse all the chart of accounts will come you can select your chart of accounts and what is our my chart of accounts rm 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 here where is that rmoc rm operational chart of accounts then click on your okay okay then click on your new entry so here you can assign the gl what is the gl we created everyone one six double zero double zero zero balance clearing account here you can click press enter and save press enter and save so like this you have to map if you map then only it will reflect it okay click on here save and back am i said this document splitting configuration steps everyone yes no no sir practice material not shared no sir no sir we will share i can share i can share 
click on here save and back the next one next one everyone next step in the configuration define document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting everyone what is the standard parameters everyone business area profit center and a segment even other activities also there but this three three things is the mandatory one is business area profit center and segment so that characteristics you selected or not you can check here selected or not you can check here everyone so what is the path this is the path everyone and uh, same path okay same path my dear students define characteristics this one define uh, document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting so you just double click on here you just double click on here see here business area is a standard profit center and segment business area profit center and segment this is the functional name and this is the technical name everyone this is the functional name and this is the technical name for example everyone check in your system this is the client level if you do one student it will reflect it for all the uh, company codes check in your system in your system business area profit center segment is there then fine in case it is not there click on your new entry then you can take manually business area profit center and segment when you want to select in case it is not there you can select if it is there not required to click on new entry keep it as it is keep it as it is every i'm repeating once again my dear students double click on this execute button and uh, business area profit center and segment if it is there keep it as it is in case if it is not there click on your new entry select manually select manually and save and uh, save everyone clear are you following everyone yes no yes sir yes sir yes sir good good very good click on here save the next one next one everyone define document splitting characteristics for controlling so controlling also will come later everyone not required now define characteristics for controlling also will come later not required now so my dear students just go and look into this this step and one step back next one define document splitting characteristics for controlling next step you just double click on this execute button just analyze this screen everyone just analyze this screen everyone in case anything is there keep it as it is nothing is there keep it as it is don't change any information in this screen everyone any objectives is there no problem keep it as it is no objective is there no problem keep it as it is this will come during the co not required now example what is meant by internal order what is meant by cost center what is meant by cost center what is the cost objectives and lot of things will come later so lot of things will come later not required now everyone click on here save and back don't don't uh, change anything in the screen keep it as it is all is all things is there then fine in case nothing is there also no problem keep it as it is why because this co related things will come later the last step in the document splitting configuration activate document splitting activate document splitting let's activate everyone activate document splitting is here everyone here you just double click on this execute button here you can activate you just click on this here 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 this tick mark want to there then click on your save it is there you can keep it as this this tick mark tick mark re remove means inactive inactive document splitting if you click on this tick mark means active activate document splitting okay keep it as this so everyone uh, what happened here this is the document splitting configuration everyone your configuration good or not good how would you know good or not good how would you know you want to test 
this configuration working fine or not. How you are going to test? Testing means document entry posting. Testing means what? Accounting entry posting. So we want to post the accounting entry and passive splitting. We want to post the accounting entry on active splitting. We want to post the accounting entry in zero balance splitting. So each and everything we are going to test this document splitting working fine or not. Working fine or not. Not only this, even global parameters, other profit center, other activities also we are going to test. So your configuration good or not good, how would I know? How would I know? If you, if you successfully posted accounting entry, then your configuration is good. During the accounting entry, if you face any issue, means something you are missing the point. Something you miss the configuration. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? Okay. Following? Yes, sir. Any questions? Yes, sir. questions? Very good. Very good. Any questions, everyone, about document splitting? Sir, I have one question. Please, please. For zero balance sheet, we map the current liability, right? Hmm. Uh, we should map for every GL or uh, only for current liability? Not like that. In the future also, some GLs will reflect it automatically. Like, uh, you know, zero balance clearing account, GRIR clearing account, like that. Whatever GLs will reflect it automatically, that GLs we want to assign on respective configuration. Here we want to assign only zero balance clearing account. Remaining things want to assign in different uh, configuration steps. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, yeah. I have a doubt, sir. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, sir, in the fourth step, that is the document splitting characteristics for GL accounting. Mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 you just showed three uh, parameters, sir. That is business mm -hmm. area, profit center, and segment. Mm -hmm. uh, in that screen, uh, the there was one checkbox for zero zero balance clearing account. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for business area and profit center, there was tick in that. Mm -hmm. But for mm -hmm. segment segment, mm -hmm. there was no. It was not ha. ticked. So what is mm -hmm. the difference, sir? Good, very good. For example, if you click on your tick mark, then zero balance account will reflect it. If tick mark is not there, zero balance clearing account not reflected. Got it my point. For example, I did not tick in the segment. It means even segment is not debit and credit will not uh, equal. That time zero balance will never reflected. Why? Because tick mark is not there. If tick mark is there, uh, when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter, it will going to reflect. Profit center and the business area I tick means when the profit center and uh, business area debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter, that time it will reflect. If I'm not segment means when the segment is not equal, that time it won't reflect. If you want reflected, then click on that tick mark. Okay, sir. But it is not required, no, sir, for our configuration now. You, the client will going to confirm. Client will okay, going sir. to confirm when which parameters zero balance clearing account is required, which parameter zero balance clearing account is not required. So based on the client confirmation, we need to activate. Like okay, sir. Okay, yeah. sir. Thank you. Questions? Questions, please. No questions. So guys, uh, I have other work now. So I'm stopping the class today. Then we will meet tomorrow, everyone. Tomorrow we have the class. Okay. Clear? Clear, everyone? Okay, yes, sir. Thank you, 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 everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone.